What's up, y'all? This is your boy, Heaven Hollywood, for the IE Network. And let's get into it. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And to be honest, this is a video that I wish I did not have to make. I tried to hold off on it. I've been hearing some things about it, about certain things that's going down, and I was trying to give the people the benefit of the doubt, but this has to be talked about, man. And this involved not just Bow Wow, Red Man, The Brat, Jadakiss, but also several other rappers. Now, the word that's going around is, especially because of this pandemic, people have been confined to the house and a lot of people aren't getting any work. And people are saying that these four are a part of a mixtape versus scam on independent artists. And they are charging independent artists $500 to $1,000 to get on a mixtape or to get a verse from a rapper, an established rapper, OG rapper, what have you. And then the rapper is reportedly taking the money. The mixtape is never coming out. And they are essentially scamming independent artists for their hard-earned money. Artists that don't have it to be given away. Now, if you look at some of these ads and some of these promos that... uh. A lot, some of the said people involved, a lot of them look alike. Look at Bow Wow's promo. Anybody know any rappers? Let's work. Then you look at the brat. Tag an artist with less than 4K followers. Let's work. Jada Kiss, tag an artist who I should work with before 2021 comes. Yeah, before that, before they find a, a vaccine or a cure. Red man, some a person who I admire and has, has been one of my favorite rappers. They are, to hear that he is involved in this is hurtful. So, according to several DMs. They're having you cash app them five hundred to one thousand dollars. Now some of them are saying they're doing a mixtape and your song will be featured on it. They're also gonna promote your song and you're gonna get a shout out from them on the mixtape. But every single person has come back and said that never happened. Then you got some like the brat. And Jada Kiss, the ones that are charging eight hundred, a thousand dollars, they're saying they're going to give you a sixteen. You cash app them the money. They then are supposed you supposed to send them the beat. They're supposed to lay the verse and send it back to you. And then when they get ready to release it, they said they're going to promote it. Now. What's happening is it kind of goes like this. Once you send them the money, all right, and this is for anybody out there who has fall, fell a victim to this, but you're too embarrassed or humiliated to come forward. This is how you can tell it's a scam. Once they take the money, they're going to then say, send the first. If you send the verse, they're going to then come back with a with a postponement excuse. Oh, it's postponed. Uh, it's a hold up. Oh, can you send another beat? Send another, a different beat. I don't really like that beat. Which if you're paying the money, you should be able. It, it's supposed to be whatever beat you send them. If you're paying them money to lay a verse, it is not their job to pick the beat. They should be rapping on any beat you send them. If they say, oh, send another beat, you'll know right there that there's something wrong. It's a red flag. 
Then they start coming up with all these excuses of why it can't be done. Oh, it's going to be done by in two days. And then two days comes as an excuse. You know, oh, I can't do it because this, that, and the third. They start making a lot of excuses. And you know why they're making these excuses. This is a shame that these OG rappers, and I'm going to say allegedly, but... This seems to be pretty true. If you can look at some of the screenshots of people talking in the comments saying, oh, you got robbed by Jada Kiss too? I thought I was the only one. And then to hear that it's mostly the OG rappers, that makes the old school rappers look bad. And then you wonder why these young heads don't want to mess with you. Or don't have no respect for you. I know some of them aren't going to have respect for you anyway. But for you to be doing this to independent artists who barely have any money. And they probably scraping and scraping up every single dime and penny to give to you. Because you saying you're going to help their rap career. Now Spill the Sugar reached out to all four of these rappers. No response. And if you missed it, a couple of months ago, Freddie Gibbs, a, a younger school, a newer school rapper, had put on one of his stories, beware of rappers scamming y'all. Freddie Gibbs put that on his story a couple of months ago. So if people like Redman, Jada Kiss, the Brat, and Bow Wow, if you're all out here scamming people for money, that is just showing the younger generation that y'all are probably short on cash. You're probably short on cash. You're probably no longer millionaires. If you have to be, you know, robbing people, scamming people out of $500, scamming people out of $800 or $1,000, and the screenshots are right there. People are talking, saying Red Man. A person said Red Man said that they would you five hundred dollars. You're gonna get on a mixtape that he's doing, and the mixtape never comes out, and then you don't hear from the artist anymore. One person that did with Red Man ended up saying they had to end up releasing the music themselves with no push from Red Man, no mention of Red Man, and no Red Man verse. And the mixtapes never come out. Bow Wow, Jada Kiss, The Brat. And I know for The Brat, it is factual. Because my nephew gave The Brat $800 to be on a record. And it, she just continued to make excuses. About why she didn't have the 16. Then said, oh, it's def I'm definitely going to have it in two days. He sent the music back. Never heard from her. Out of $800. And they're putting these posts up. Oh, tag any rapper with less than 4K. Less work. They're taking advantage of these independent artists. And like someone said, it's like an OnlyFans for 90s rappers. They said, you go and scam 15 people. You get $800 from 15 people. Figure that out. I'm bad at math, but I can tell you this. It's a lot of money for to be given up. And it's a lot of money to be making within a matter of what? 45 minutes, an hour? Promising these people these things. Now, again, if it's not true, one of y'all will come forth and say something. But you have it so far, and there are too many DMs and people talking about this for not to have some where there's smoke, there's fire. And y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Y'all setting back the old heads. Anybody have any news on this, you can reach out to me, but... 
there's been plenty of people talking about it, DMs, and people are just getting scammed by these older rappers talking about they giving them a verse and they don't give them nothing. Any information, holla at your boy. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this with your friends and spread the word. Watch out for these scamming behind rappers.